Holy, Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, Blessed Trinity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, my brothers, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, what I've, what I've done, done and what I have done. failed to do my through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, says Koholith. Vanity of vanities, all things are vanity. What profit has man from all the labor which he toils under the sun? One generation passes and another comes, but the world forever stays. The sun rises and the sun goes down, then it presses on to the place where it rises. Blowing now toward the north, then toward the, blowing now toward the south, then toward the north, the wind turns again and again resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear satisfied with hearing. What has been, that will be. That, what has been, what has been done, that will be done. Nothing is new under the sun. Even the thing of which we say, see, this is new, has already existed in the ages that preceded us. There is no remembrance of men of old, nor of those who will come there to be remembrance among those who come from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been a refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like changing grass which at dawn springs anew, but by evening wilts and fades. 
in every age, O oh Lord, your own refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O oh Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Read the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? He kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> this is a local and not a universal feast day, but today in Barcelona we celebrate Our Lady of uh, Our Lady of Refuge. There's a church in Long Beach, Our Lady of Refuge, not too far away from us. Uh, do you know the origin of it? I'll tell you. Charles I was, uh, was the uh, king back in the year, around the year 1200, had a vision. So did St. Peter Nolasco, as well as St. Raymond Penafort. The Blessed Mother appeared to them, and she wanted them to start a new order. And the name of the order would be the Mercedarians, but we call them Our Lady of Refuge. The purpose was to free the Christian slaves from the Muslims. That was the purpose of the foundation of the Mercedarians, or the Our Lady of Refuge. So, to, because a lot of Christians had become slaves at the Muslims, this is back 800 years ago. This is the time of Thomas Aquinas and St. Dominic, St. Francis, St. Clair. So there you have the foundation of a new religious order in honor of Our Lady of Ransom. Today, to this very day, that order exists. But the primary purpose of the order now is not to free Christians from the slavery of the Muslims, but the different slaveries that are out there today. And there are many. There are many. The primary slavery is that of sin. Years ago, Cardinal Ratzinger wrote a document on liberation theology, yeah? which was really strong in South America back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, maybe you've read the document, in which Cardinal Ratzinger, now as Benedict XVI, says the most important liberation is not so much from political structures, even though that is a problem, but the liberation from sin. What are the modern slaveries? Well, it could be slavery to drinking, to sexual promiscuity, to drugs, to casinos, 
to compulsive buying, to materialism, to gluttony. In a certain sense, there's a lot of slaveries out there. Some are huge chains. Others are moderate sized chains, and others are small chains. But constantly our work is to be freeing us from our slaveries. What better way? What better way than to turn to Mary? Today, the gods we have, we have, we have Herod. He's already killed John the Baptist. Now he wants to see Jesus. Think about when John the Baptist was in prison. He was a slave, wasn't he? In a certain sense, he was chained. Shackles and chains. But who was the real slave, John the Baptist or King Herod? Even though Herod had freedom, he had meant money and power and lived a luxurious lifestyle, an adulterous relationship, you know, he was the real slave because he was a slave of his own passions, his own whims. It was John the Baptist, even though he was in a dungeon, maybe chained to the wall, John the Baptist was the one that was truly free. So in honor of Our Lady of Refuge, Our Lady of Ransom, let's ask Mary to pray for us. Pray for the world that has so many slaveries, our country that has so many slaveries, our politics that has so many slaveries, our social unrest that has so many slaveries, Maybe our children that have so many slaveries. In ourselves, we all have some type of slavery. That's called holy indifference. Let's look into ourselves to see what is the major chain that's holding us to be totally free. Beg the Blessed Mother, we be able to experience, even today, the freedom and the liberty of the sons and daughters of God. Amen. The mystery of the Incarnation and still more of the cross, Jesus Christ reveals the true power of self-abasement. Let us pray. Make us wise, O Lord. You did not think equality with God something to be clung to. Release us from the desire for power and prestige, we pray. Make us wise, O Lord. You emptied yourself, taking on the nature of a slave. Free us from all disdain for works of service, we pray. Make us wise, O Lord. You became obedient even unto death, death on a cross. Deliver us from the lure of self-sufficiency, we pray. Make us wise, O Lord. O Christ, you wash the feet of your disciples, you who are both Lord and Master. Strip us of the garments of pride and free us to do for one another the tasks of love as you have done for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
I said, are you Lord God of all creation? For through the of this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Said, are you Lord God of all creation? For through and of this wine we offer you fruit of the vine, work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna Son in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he's betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day, day our daily bread and forgive us, us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace the grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant to peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, word my soul, my soul shall be healed. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Father <clears throat> Christ. Father Christ. Father Christ. Thank you. 
Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. God bless you, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Be queen enthroned above all honey. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, honey. I have all he cherubim, sing with us he seraphim. Heaven and earth resound a hymn. Sahave, 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 Regina.